Hi guys, welcome to another video. Happy New Year to each and every one of you and I hope you all had a great Christmas. This video is another of my cancer vlogs. Thank you to everyone who watched my Christmas message, who watched my previous cancer vlog on Christmas Eve and for all the love and comments and message support either in the comments or on Facebook people have sent me. It means a lot to me and I thank you guys in advance for all the likes etc on this video. I had an amazing Christmas and I hope each and every one of you had an amazing Christmas as well. I was with my family and we had a great Christmas day, plenty to eat, I got a load of presents, mainly Star Wars stuff. I got books, mugs, t-shirts, some smellies, a suitcase, super lightweight for on my travels next year, and an Obi-Wan Kenobi dressing gown. I also got a very special present for my brother. He made it himself, which is a Zippo shelving unit to house my 80 Zippo lighters which I'm collecting and more on those lighter series will follow in the next couple of years. Thank you so much James for taking over 30 hours of his own personal time making said unit and in next week's vlog I will include pictures with it on my wall and with some Zippos in it. Um, <clears throat> what else? I've had a, an amazing week. When I last spoke to you on Christmas Eve, I was looking forward to Christmas. I explained what happened. On the Sunday, we had another Christmas party at my sister's house. And then on Monday, RJ came home with my mum. And on the Tuesday, I had my chemotherapy. My fourth one. Sorry, my third one can't count and as per normal painless very boring but I had my mum with me felt okay after went down a pub for a cup of drinks just as the doctor ordered my appetite immediately after chemotherapy and a few days after isn't all that I got some extra strong anti-sickness tablets and so yesterday, which is Wednesday, and today, which is New Year's Eve, I felt a little bit nauseous, but not too bad. The strong anti-sickness ones are working. I um, came back to Kent on Wednesday. And tonight, well last night, if you're watching it on New Year's Day, but tonight, because I'm recording it on New Year's Eve, I'm going to spend it with family indoors. Because, number one, I'm quite tired. And number two, standing in a packed pub, like I've done every other year, does not appeal to me this year. I'm trying to see if there's I can mention. Um, next week, I go for a CT scan on Tuesday. What the CT scan is, is you go in a tunnel, you lay flat on your back, and it gives an enhanced X-ray with what's happening inside your body, and in my case, how far the lung cancer has decreased with any luck, or if it stayed the same. I had one just before my first chemotherapy, so they compare this one with that one, and then after my fourth one on the 22nd of January, I imagine three weeks later, I'll be having another one. I find out the results on the 22nd, so RJ's got 17 sleepless nights to worry about, but that's a different story. 
I'm going to my doctor's for some sleeping tablets on the 18th and I've got enough sleeping tablets to last me till then. Um, so this week, unbelievable Christmas, many happy memories, a very special one for me. Looking forward to New Year and all the things I plan to do this in 2016. I want to get back to meet Johan again. I want to hopefully get to Amsterdam, definitely Brighton, a summer holiday. And that's just for starters. I'm going to give myself this week a 9 out of 10. It's been really good. Daytime, I do sleep an hour around about one and then in about another hour about five and then have seven hours at night that's how I keep going throughout the day I get up about eight and go to bed about midnight I hope you all have a happy new year and wish you all a great 2016 I hope 2016 is better for me then what the end bit of 2015 was, which was absolute shit, as you know. Except for four special days with Johan back in November. All my cancer vlogs are down in the description, down below. I'd like to thank those guys who checked out my four German language videos, which I released between Christmas and today. Thank you, I do know I need to improve my pronunciation. And you, but thank you for your support. They're my Christmas message. The main events of 2015 in the news and my good times on YouTube and my bad times. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. Next week's vlog will be on Friday. And I'll be showing you my Christmas presents. I'm at my mum's obviously today. I'm recording in her bedroom. Hence the change of scenery. And that's about it for me. I give myself 9 out of 10. Still got my hair. My dick's still working. I chase a happy man. Stay lit guys and thank you for watching.